Hello everyone, welcome to Tectored. In last lecture, we understood the concept of Ethernet and we understood how CSMSCD works. Okay, and we also figured out how we should find out the minimum frame size. Okay, so here we will just quickly solve the previous thing only with the help of some numerical values. Okay, so uh, I have directly taken some values, but you will be getting question in form of you know. Uh, text like it will be given uh, in a 2500 meter ethernet line which runs on the capacity of 10 mbps okay and uh, given that the signal travels with you know uh, uh, let's say 60 percent of the speed of the light then what will be the minimum frame size okay so something like this question will be formed and you will have to solve so these are the information which you will derive from the question now how you will solve it so just to give you a quick revision if you haven't watched the previous video so what we do is basically if this is the node or station let's say n1 and this is the n2 now what we assume that a frame size should be that much longer so that when this node is transmitting data into this carrier and this data reaches to the extreme end okay and if here collision occur then the jamming signal the time or uh, the time when jamming signal reaches back to this node this node should keep transferring this data okay so when this jamming signal coming back this node is still transferring the part of this frame right then this node will come to know that the frame this node is attempting to transfer has collided somewhere okay and collision has occurred so this frame has to be retransmitted okay so this was the concept which i explained in earlier video in detail so here just let's solve the problem so the idea is we have to keep transferring this L length of data for round trip time, right? So what will be the transfer time for this L length of data? So, so that would be L upon this bandwidth B, right? So this would be time for which this node will be transferring the data and that should be equal to round trip time. Okay, so what is round trip time? Round trip time would be this distance D upon v this velocity into 2 right okay so let's solve it so it would be l equal to 2d upon v and 2db right 2db upon v so let's put the values so it would be 2 into d is 2500 meters bandwidth is 1 point oh, sorry bandwidth is 10 into 10 to the power 6 and then velocity is 1.8 into 10 to the power 8 so while solving these kind of problems you must take care of the units okay so as this is meter this has to be in meter right if something is given in kilometer per second and someone is uh, some other value in meter per meter distance then you have to make the unit same right so well so let's solve this uh, it is 10 to the power 8 this is 6 7 or and 8 so this is gone upon 1.8 which is you can use calculator so it will be come out so it will come out to be 2 77.7 right which is equal to 277 bits right it would be bits because this is bit this is bit okay mbps this small b is bit so it would be 277 bits well fine so uh, i hope you get it and if you have any doubt uh, you are always free to ask question below this video or in doubt section so thanks for watching